Hey guys, Super Games Boy Boys here. Welcome back to another new video. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you on how to install Tin Foil on a Nintendo Switch, which is running 16.1.0 with using a custom firmware. To install Tin Foil on a Nintendo Switch is really easy. All you have to do is you need to get the right setup. And then you need to know uh, how you guys transfer the files to your SD card. So it's quite simple actually. Now first step is you need to get the side patches. So the side patches, I will not leave any links for you guys in this video because YouTube sometimes mess up with the links and sometimes I will get the copyright issues. So make sure you have the side patches before you guys get start to uh, the next step. And the second things you need to have is the custom firmware. Of course, you will need a custom firmware for these tutorials um, because without the custom firmware, this will not work. So that is uh, all things that you need to set up, the side patches and the custom firmware itself. So first of all, you need to download Tinfoil. So just go ahead and head to the Googles and then type in Tinfoil. And the first link you will see uh, here is it, the website itself, Tinfoil. So now go ahead and click to download. So now it will bring you guys to the lower patch and it will show you download Tinfoil 16.0 NRO. Uh, and then we have other version as well here uh, which is all of these have uh, different files so the files that you need to download is the thin foil uh, nro self installer now so we'll go ahead and click to it and now we we'll start to download the thin foil okay so once we have finished downloading the thin foil now we need to open it up and here is the files that you will get after you have downloaded the tin for itself uh, which is the for self installer and inside the zip file here uh, we have the switch folder so this is where we need to copy uh, this folder the switch folder here we need to copy and then pass it into our switch micro sd card so now i'm going to connect my nintendo switch to my pc really quick here all right so now i already have connect my uh, switch micro SD card to my PC as you can see on the right side here. I have the uh, SD card connected to my PC and this is all the custom firmware files for my Nintendo switch So if we uh, in case that you guys see it differently on your SD card, so just ignore it Now we need to copy this switch folder here and then uh, go back to our SD card And then we just need to pass it to the root of our micro SD card Alright, so now that we already have copied the tin foil, now we may uh, disconnect our SD card from our PC and I'm going to disconnect my SD card uh, from my PC here. And then on our Nintendo Switch, we need to boot into a custom firmware back again. So as you can see right now on my Switch here, I already have returned back to the Hackety menu in order to launch my custom firmware here. And it's depend on your custom firmware. If you use Hackety to launch your custom firmware, you will uh, see the same exact things that I did earlier. But if you use the vanilla atmosphere, it will directly boot into the vanilla atmosphere. All right, guys. So now uh, I've put my switch into a custom firmware, as you can see here. Now at here, if you already have installed the all thin foil, uh, if you have it installed on your Nintendo Switch. I highly recommend you guys to delete the shortcut first on your home screen here. So now go ahead and press the plus button and then go to manage software and then uh, go ahead and select delete software. So what it uh, so what it does it will wipe out and it will delete your all thin foil files so that uh, you will not uh, it will not cause you any trouble when you're trying to launch the new tin foil later all right so now go ahead and execute the homebrew menu by going to the album here then you navigate to the homebrew menu so at uh, inside the homebrew menu here you need to find tin foil okay so as you can see this is where i uh, have the tin foil so now go ahead and press a to launch it and once you guys launch it uh, now it brings you guys to the tin foil menu and we have successfully installed tin foil on our Nintendo switch So now when you go back to the home screen You will now have a new shortcut that have been created because we get the self installer dot nro so that uh, it will automatically uh, Install the shortcut tin foil on our home screen 
So this is the Twin foil version 16.0 as you can see up here. Alright, so now when uh, if you want to launch the tin foil, you can now use the shortcut here uh, without needing to access to the homebrew menu in order to launch the tin foil. Alright, so that is all for this video, and that is how you guys install tin foil on a Nintendo Switch, which is running 16.1.0 with using a custom firmware. So, like I said, if you have issues, and it's probably because you don't have a side patches, so side patches are really important. So make sure you know how to install the side patches. So like I said, I will not leave any links for you guys to get these files um, and for the tinfoil also, I will not leave you guys the direct links to access the tinfoil. So all you have to do is you need to google it up yourself because I don't want to get this video uh, taken down from YouTube. So that's all for this video and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That is how to install tinfoil. Like I said, it was really easy. So um, thank you very much for watching this video until the end. I'll see you guys on the next one.